Are you a tired mom who is desperate for a space that you can call your own? Have you been wanting to decorate your bedroom but have always put it off because the needs of everybody else came first? In this video, I am taking you on a tour of my brand new bedroom that I completed as part of the Spring One Room Challenge. The One Room Challenge is this super fun blogging experience where you are challenged to complete a space in just six short weeks. I have completed several spaces and I will link a few of those right here for you in the cards. After doing interior design for other people for many, many years in my previous career, it is just always so gratifying to do interior design for myself. And as many of you know, we have just moved here to this house in sunny Southwest Florida from Toronto, Canada. And so there are still so many spaces that we are still working on finishing and calling our own. And so today I'm so excited to show you our beautiful new bedroom. I think my favorite thing in the space is of course this wall decal. My husband has coined the term, I am now an interior decalator instead of decorator, decalator. I did the space during this global pandemic lockdown and so I knew that we weren't really gonna be having too many trades in here. I also knew that I wasn't gonna have that much childcare and so I didn't wanna do anything like painting or anything overly messy that I knew would be very challenging to kind of stop, start, and repeat, that kind of thing. So when I found this design, this is called Bohemian Palm by Urban Wall Decal. I just love how I feel when I come in here, but more importantly, <laughs> super easy to put on the wall. My kids helped. It was the kind of thing that if they got into it, unlike paint, it wouldn't leave like this lasting damage, obviously. It actually ended up being a somewhat enjoyable experience to do all together, you know, during this global pandemic with eight children at home. Um, anything that can become a bonding experience instead of something that is frustrating is, um, <laughs> you know, thumbs up in my books. So I really love the texture and the color palette that I provided this space. And this is a design tip. This is where I always begin. I begin with some kind of a palette that will inform the room and in this case I took all the colors for everything else out of this beautiful wall decal. So when I finished the walls I realized real quick that the green sofa that was in my living room which I did as part of the fall one room challenge would look so 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 cute here. So I went to my 11 year old son John I was like okay John let's go. <laughs> We just picked up the sofa, moved it in. Now I need a new uh, sofa for my living room. But I love how this little area, like it's just, it's so cozy. It is just really convenient to be honest for this kind of a thing. So I think this is gonna end up being my brand new um, YouTube shooting space. The kids keep calling it like, it feels like we're in a hotel and, and it's interesting. When I went on my book tour for my book, The Possibility Mom, we stayed in I don't know how many different hotels. And it is interesting when you think about it, how so many hotels will have a sofa in it. Um, and I do think that this adds to that very luxurious and very soothing feeling. It's definitely, it definitely reminds me of being in a hotel. Um, and so I just, I really, I'm, 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 I'm just grateful that we ended up just randomly. <laughs> it wasn't in the plan at all. Sometimes in design, I think, happy accidents like this are kind of the best. And this was definitely just like an unintended accident. I really wasn't sure what I was gonna put here. Okay, let's talk about this bed. I love this headboard. It was so economic. I will put the link below where you can grab this bed. I, I just love the, the color, I love the channel tufting, and it was such an affordable find as well. When we moved here, we sold all of our possessions. I will put a <laughs> link in the cards for that crazy story. And then this mattress. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I now live in the United States, but I'm a proud Canadian and I wanted to have, you know, touches of home as much as I could here in this house. And this mattress is by a Canadian company named Endy. It is just like heaven. <laughs> I feel like I'm sleeping on a cloud. Honestly, I will put a link below for my full review on what it's like to sleep on this mattress, but I can just, let me tell you, it is as firm as it is soft. It is as cool as it is warm. It, 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 I, I realize that sounds so strange, but it really is just the best <laughs> mattress. I have ever experienced. The mattress is made out of Endy foam and it truly feels like a supportive cloud. I, I mean, come on, I am 
a mom of eight children and these pandemic days have been long and frazzling. At the end of the day, to collapse in this bed has been just such a gift and such a joy and I am so grateful for it. I never knew that I might benefit from an adjustable pillow. I'm often on my side when I nurse the baby and so it is actually really helpful to have two pillows of different densities. There are so many options for delivery mattresses these days and so I know the power of a good review. So that is my authentic, authentic experience of an Endy mattress. It is truthfully like just the best sleep. You'll, you'll just get the best sleep. I'm a mom of eight. I need all the sleep. <laughs> Then I pulled colors from the wall decals in these decorative pillows. I love this long lumbar. It has a different scale of tufting than my headboard, so they work together really well. And I just love how the palette is very soothing and very um, connected. My nightstands were an insane find from Goodwill, and I've got a whole video of how unique it is to shop secondhand down here in Florida. And I will link that for you right up here because, oh my gosh, like I can't even, the price of them. I remember when I found them, I was like, these are beautiful. And I know they're not gonna be like, very expensive, but I could not believe how cheap. I didn't look to see where the nightstands were from when I was shopping in Goodwill. And so later on, as I was cleaning them out, I was like, oh my gosh, these are West Elm nightstands and they would have cost like $500 a piece in the store brand new. So, oh my gosh, like honestly, I just, thrifting is next level here in Florida. Let's talk about this crib. So I wanted something unique. I have, I always will have a baby in our bedroom, basically, because it's just the way it rolls here. I wanted something kind of modern. I wanted something kind of unique. I truthfully had no idea what I, what I, like what I was looking for. Um, but because I was shopping during a global pandemic, I knew that it had to be delivered. And when I stumbled upon this crib, I was just like, add to cart. <laughs> like it just was like, I don't think I have many other options that are gonna surpass this one. And I just, I love the look, I love the feel, I love that it fit within my budget, and um, it actually feels more like a sculpture or like a focal point of the room, if you will, rather than like a crib that needs to be there. Um, so I'm super, super grateful for that. And then just the little touches that we're able to make, like the, the, the crib skirt, the printed sheet, and then let's talk about this blanket. Oh my goodness, I was gifted this beautiful merino wool like knitted blanket from new friends over at house of royals first of all these chunky knit blankets are just like aesthetically beautiful but the texture of natural merino wool is just like it's decadent and then of course this is even more meaningful because this company really believes in um bringing in sacramental experiences in decor. And so this particular blanket has a gorgeous pink silk ribbon with Swarovski crystals, you guys, that are meant to assist you in praying the rosary, which is a Catholic form of prayer. I mean, like, that's just, like, uh, things that combine, I, I could, I'm, I'm getting emotional just talking about it. Combining good design quality materials, hand craftsmanship, and then my Catholic faith. Like, that's just, I just like, that's that's so many things in one that, <laughs> so, that bring me so much life and joy. And I think it's an important thing to think about. Like, our spaces should inspire us. But if you were a person of faith like me, for our spaces to also encourage us to pray, like, that's like, a whole other level and I'll be honest with you it's not something that I've really thought about in terms of how I decorate or um, the intention I use in my spaces I've never really thought about this that hard that our spaces can also help enhance our faith practices and so I'm, I'm really grateful um, that I have discovered this um, beautiful company because it's just making me think about how I want to move forward in other areas in my home and add these touches that encourage prayer and sacramental experience. Here's what I want you to really remember about bedroom design. You are worth it. This is gonna sound like the most cliche metaphor of all time. We gotta put our own oxygen mask on before we put on the mask of others. And I realize, especially right now during this time where 
everybody's been at home, where um, camps have been canceled, where it's unsure if we're going back to school, all the things. Um, I know how hard you are working. I know how hard we are all working. I I just, we, we're, we're being forced right now to make sometimes impossible decisions. If you're struggling during this time, will you just tell me in the comments because I just, I understand. And um, this is hard. Anyone would find this period of time hard right now. But this is why I believe that our homes should help uplift us. I know how frustrated I get when I can't find something or when um, a space is too cluttered, when I can't sit down, when I can't do the function that I need to do in a space. Um, and so I just really believe, especially our bedrooms, that if we can give a bit of intention, if we can make a plan, even if it is as simple as a beautiful bedspread and then picking up the matching drapes or um, taking out all the clutter, like clean sweep styles, and then just putting things back one at a time to ensure that the things that go back in the space are things that we actually need. I kind of feel like it's our responsibility to ourselves, like that we, the same way that we care so much for other people, we need to extend that care to ourselves. And it doesn't need to take very long. It is super possible and so worth it to have a bedroom that at the end of a long frazzled day, you get to retreat to. I think our marriages have also been through a lot. I think that this time has asked a lot of everyone. There's a lot of juggling. There might be tensions around how time is juggled. So to have a space that again is like clean, clutter free, and can support you as a couple and support you in spending time together in an aimless way, I think um, can be just such a gift to a marriage as well. That is it, that is the room tour. I would love to know what your favorite part of this room is and if you were to make over your bedroom, what would you wanna do right now? And now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, yes, um, my bedroom would really help uh, support my marriage in a way. I have got a video all about marriage during quarantine that I will link for you right up here. Just go click this link right up here if you wanna hear some thoughts about marriage during quarantine and I will see you on the other side.